MLB The Show 21 with our beloved player, Curveball Joe. So far, he was called up to the AAA and has been undefeated so far. And what we strive for is curveballs. We're going to be throwing those nasty curveballs at him. We are getting closer day by day to the trade deadline, and that means that top prospects could be on the move. I'm joined today by Carlos Pena, and Carlos, when you were on your way up the ladder to the majors, did you ever notice the chatter around the trade deadline? Our game plan is throw curveballs, seeing if we can get a no-hitter. So far this season in MLB, in real life, we have a total of six no-hitters this season before the month of June. And in fact, the last two days have been no-hitters. Time for baseball of the minor league variety as the show oh, brings besides you coverage yesterday. from the AAA East. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Omaha Storm Chasers and the St. Paul Saints. Yeah. Joe Duran, a right-handed native of the... So now into the box is Andrew Roman. It lead right. things off here in the box. As of usual, the they want us to throw the knuckle curve, but we're focusing straight up the regular curveball. Pitch on the way. Swung on and missed for the first strike. We're gonna try to bait him. Got it still in the strike zone, but we're gonna move it over here just below that sweet spot where he'd be able to get an opportunity. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. Got him in that two. He obviously two strikes. Feel for that we're gonna ball play him dirty. The game. We bait him like Lead a bitch. We're gonna do him dirty and just put it below that strike zone. Ball one. Here's oh, ball, he, he knew it. He's zone. seen it. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball. But put it on that top corner. You will go up high. Like the oh, he's paying attention. That time. He ain't messing around. Really high curveball right there. Struggling with the release point. That's the key to the curveball. I'm not Figuring struggling. I'm just messing point. around. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first down. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt. He Got was one strike so far. We're going to go with the bottom left corner. corner. And it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end. And obviously there was nothing he could do with go that. with the left corner again. Got him for two. Bait him like a fish. We're gonna reel that in for a strikeout. We're gonna go on the far right side. Do him dirty. Was selected in the first during the 2014 They're paying attention. Hey, this guy hasn't reached the big leagues yet, but he's coming. You're gonna know his name. There we go. He just got a few more developmental things to work on. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Nick Gordon becomes out number two this inning. Gonna go for that corner. Should we go up high or go down low? That brings up Alex Kirilov. And it's fouled away. We'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first Gotta two go guys for going bottom, down on just a little in borderline. Swing and a miss as he no pulls the top hand right. over. It's 0-2. Right. Back to back strikes. Gotta go for that low right corner. And just like that, three strikes in a row. Strike three to retire the side. And inning in the books tonight. It's still looking pretty good. On the show. Last half of the second set to go. And on, four seam fastball. I say Travis no. I'll Landon pick Dipper. We go for curveball. First pitch on the way. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. We're going to go up here. We got one corner. We're going to go up top in the middle. One that misses high. It's one and one. If you're in the box right now, you got to wait him corner. out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been Two nibbling strikes. this whole at bat no and here. just missed it. Go that for that other ball. corner. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Peterson is there to put it away for route number gotta, one. Got to give them a little opportunity. They're going up against Curveball Joe. They're not going to be able to deal Williams with that. Ostadio. He really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. And he'll step on first himself for the out. 
Next to stand in is Jimmy Kerrigan. Trying to yeah. make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First offering. He drops in a strike to start the at bat. That's Nothing one won. strike. There we go, guys. Ball. Ball and a strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. Ball and two strikes. To count. All right, the base is we got him. We got him. We're gonna to throw hurt. just he's kind of one, just slightly below. That's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the Man, so far ball. the batters have had good really good play vision. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. Now to bat, Brent right. Rooker. As we move All we need the is inning number three. 18 more outs. There's the big breaking ball, and it's by him for a strike. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. Ball, this strikes, guy is yeah. carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. Going He's for that zone. Going to hit him pitches. three times in a row. He swung on and missed five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first down of the inning. And next to the play will be J.T. Riddle. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And it's quickly 0-2. Oh, he wants it. We got to just give him a little hope. Put it on a little far edge. Make him, make him fish for it. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. He fished for that one. We're going to go up a little bit higher. Fish him. Once more. Oh. One and two. Tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch. <laughs> didn't quite get it to come gotcha. back all the way to the corner. That's tough to do for most guys. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. JT Riddle. He comes the second out in the bottom of the third. Caleb Hamilton is in with two away as he takes a ball. One and oh. Hey, a curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just ball, a little strike. bit earlier than he intended. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Okay, we did that. Kind of go a little bit over here. Into the windup and the pitch. Ball, that's a little off bit off so target. Not where I wanted it, but that's okay. Execution was flawless. Nice curveball. There we go. Leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Got six Making more innings to go. Here to start the ball. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Andrew Romine he went down swinging to start the home first. No balls and a strike to count. Romine. The wind up and the 0-1. Swing and a miss oh, here, and he's behind in the count now. 0 and 2. There's another. Gotta go dirty. Do this him dirty. Really Risk the biscuit. Well oh, Being man. aggressive early on, and if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good go night. right here. And, and just like that, we got our strikeout. Strikeouts thus far. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Nick Gordon stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Got one more. Throws him on the bender there, and he's in the hole 0-2. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw And just like that, we've got another strikeout. Strike. And he rings Got them up looking. another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. The right fielder, number 19, Alex Kirilov. Into the box, Alex Kirilov. This he'll go after a curveball out oh, of the one zone. Right there. At bat, it's 0-1. Struck out in his first at bat. And here's strike a swing and two. as he oh, falls two. behind nothing in two. And we're going to go He's strike three and being down low. Side, seeing if we can get him. To throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means oh, to the man. boys in the dugout. Yeah, oh, we first, just got there in time, but didn't think we are going to do it. Can't start any better than this. He set down the first 12. 
Ideally, that should have been a catcher to get the ball, but that's okay. We got him chasing for the ball. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four or five and right in the middle. Give him a little hope. Into the corner and slice okay, a little foul. bit too much hope. Got to take give advantage that. of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Sit and down. He struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. So one down, Bottom no one right corner. And that'll bring okay. Williams Ostadio in the bat. Bottom left corner. Strike one. To the right oh, side. there goes the no hitter. Right ah. Hey, D-Roll, it's about time they finally Damn it. through. We're into the fifth inning, and that's just their first hit of this game. Yeah, Danny, it's been a pitcher's delight out there. But I'm an offensive well, guy. I want to see one. some balls moved into the gap. First knock. Hopefully this is the start of many. There's the big breaking ball, and it's by him for a strike. Good job of holding up. Oh, that was basically in the strike two. zone. Yep. He's going to find out quickly. Ah, guys there we go. More selective up here One in more. AAA. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Now batting. Left set move. and the pitch. Brent Rooker is at the plate now. He's quickly behind 0-1. Astadio is off of first with two away. No ball, two Boy, that's just about in the catcher's glove there. It's 0-2. The only reason why a curveball Joe is number zero because it's round. Just like his personality. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. So put another zero on the board. Stepping in once again is JT Riddle. To to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems oh, like we've we got two strikes in a row. We can this do this. Got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. Ah, got we got him. you. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Next up is Caleb Hamilton. Now, Comes into First this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. In there at the knees, strike one. Uh, you could tell this guy's got great feel for all this stuff right now. To break out that nasty hammer right there, this guy's on point. Got two strikes. Got to get that strike out. Go bottom right corner. And the 0-2 pitch. Strike and just like out. that, we got our out. punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the That's big key, stop. with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. He's right there. Oh, oh come on. His baseman as it's over his head. And he's going to make this it This is up the same base third baseman that cost me a no-hitter in the eighth inning last session. Digging in next, Nick Gordon, 0 for 2 no from him so no far in this one. And that one swung on and missed 0 and 1. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch it. Uh, oh, what? Ball and two strikes now. thought for sure that was in the strike zone. Swung on uh -huh. and strike three. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six. Striding in is Alex Kirilov. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Swing and a miss that time. Strike one. We're preventing all opportunity for anybody to get a strike. Well, that one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. That should have been a strikeout right there. And one and one. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Throw on the first in time, one away. Next to dig in, Travis Blankenhorn. No hits to this point. The second baseman. Travis Blankenhorn. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And he right. waves it across. Got one strike there. so no far. And a strike. Fooled with the curveball there. And it's strike two. Well, he got the leadoff guy hitting on a ground out, and now he's 0-2 to start. And just like that, that, we got a nard strikeout. really sharp so far to start the seventh. 
So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Travis Blankenhorn becomes out number two this the inning. At the plate well, now yeah. is Williams Ostadio. He hits with two away as they continue to. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the end of the inning. So he keeps rolling right. And now here is Jimmy Kerrigan. They'll see what he can do leading off the home. An eight. inning without this is a hit or a game where I think we really An start seeing what teams are made of both in terms of battling back, showing some resiliency, and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead, locking Ooh. down that W. We're going to try for that. We're going to go for those three strikeouts. And now the first pitch. Got to. We're going to risk the biscuit here. Go one pitch. Swings There's one for strike number two. Got to get one more. Well, you know you go right below that, that strike zone. See if we right get him. Ah, we got one. Right down the middle of the We're strike one for zone. three right Not now. Not the greatest of game plans, though. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Jimmy Kerrigan becomes the first go out. Go down to that bottom right inning. corner. Brent Rooker is in for the third time. Get on to the at bottom left corner. In today's like game, slide to the right, to the slide to the right. Break wow. stops, you have to find a way to control. Should we do a crisscross? As a unit, they have to do it. Do that We're today. gonna do a crisscross. Way too many pitches outside here. the zone. Striking yeah. Eighteen strikeouts for him now. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get All the right. bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before yeah, that one. It. So he's Third going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. All All right. Right. Got to get two, two more strikes. This one That's all we need. For the first strike. Hey, he's looking to punch oh, out the side right here. And if this guy's oh, gonna we're gonna, gonna we're not giving him an opportunity. Zone, that's exactly if he's going to be smart, he's not going to swing. Oh, we got him! Can't ask for much more than this. Eight shutout innings thus Caught far. Caught them looking. We played eight full. The Storm Chasers lead it three to nothing. Ladies Kenny Carrillo comes out of the bullpen. Well, they pull us, but we did get the challenge right there. On the season for him, matching my career best for a season. The difference is he still has a chance to notch number 34. We had a shutout. It was a pretty good game so far. Good shutout, good opportunity. He recently got the call to AAA, and he is now within shouting distance of the major leagues. Ooh. But for now, he'll have to prove that he can compete and excel at this AAA level. Jonathan Mayo, We're already at seeding that, that, buddy. Today. How does We're doing too good. A player for the majors in a way that Double A doesn't. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's changed a, a lot in in recent years. They, they used to always say that if you could compete at Double A, you could play in the big leagues, and and that might be true. But you're seeing fewer and fewer players make that double jump up to to the big leagues. Organizations want their prospects to play in, in AAA. I think it's that's another level of challenge. It's kind of an incremental step rather than throwing them right into the fire of. A, a big league competition. You have a lot of guys at the AAA level who have big league experience. With the season approaching its final stretch, a manager calls for heightened focus from his players. All right, we got in our game here. I have no idea. Uh, we're two and zero with 35 sh strikeouts. Before we got called up, we had almost. Like a hundred and ten strikeouts, something like that. Minor league baseball on the show for you now. Number zero, a right-hander from Michigan, is the starter on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Boy, this guy was unbelievably good in his last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. Now to the plate, here is... Taking on them mud hands. The Toledo mud hands. First pitch on the way. Gonna make them chicken swing. Underway now Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. And back to back pitches. I am way off with the curveball. What the hell is going on? a comfortable 76 degrees. Two and one after the foul Yeah, my guy is not throwing the curveball like he should be. Into the windup and the pitch. 
Looks like All he right. swung it under the water a little bit better. time for strike two. Oh, and a good ah, we got Gets you. Him swinging for the first out of the evening. Stepping in next, Riley Green. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with right. three quality Get it go pitches low. in a row to got, sit him down. We already banded That's not him, easy to so do, we're just going to go right here, right in the middle, down low. The next guy. Oh! Now, sent back up the middle, fielded cleanly, and that's Here's the up. second out. Oh, man. He almost had a good opportunity. And stepping in, Greg Garcia. Here's the first pitch to him. Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounded down the third baseline. Oh, come on. He didn't even try. He didn't even try. That third baseman just watched it. Hard to tell if it was fair or foul. Oh, time, but man, you that's so frustrating. Right over the bag. Pump was all over it and made a great call. On Jacoby Jones is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. That just misses off the inside for ball one. Hit out towards second. And nothing will cover the two out double as the inning is over. Now the first pitch. The first baseman. Adderlin Rodriguez is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now at the plate here is Bryant Packard. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Oh, and won the count. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Now a swing. Ow, and there we go. Him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Getting a little bit better. So Hopefully we can get Cam better Gibson. with the accuracy for the curveball. Top of the second alive. Breaking ball is cut on and missed for the first strike. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. And strike three. Oh, ball, as he, says he, oh he got robbed on that retired. pitch. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning. Stepping up is Daniel Panera. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell oh, from their oh, dugout right. this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. Oh, I know. For all his pitches. I know, just didn't think he was going to call it. Another one, make it four strikeouts already, and there's one your out. first out. Got one. Next up, Eric Haas. No. A ball uh. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this end. Oh, probably should be ahead of this hitter. Her balls like all over the place in this game. Now the one and one pitch takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. One and two. Yeah, Matt, you see the same pitch three times in a row, and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it right. four times, or do I have to say right. something else? We're going to give him a high curveball. Into the windup and the pitch. And this is swung out and missed. <laughs> yeah. Strike out already, and there are two gone in the inning. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball, and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end, and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. Oh. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. It's looking good so far. All set for the start of the I think Curveball Joe has a great opportunity to get called up. Swing and a miss that time. Strike one. At the rate he's going, he could be called up before the season ends. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 2. 
There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking. Oh, we got him looking. Being aggressive early on, and if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Riley now Green that. is retired to kick off the inning. Greg I feel like doing a zigzag pattern. Late appearance as he looks at a ball that's one and zero. Hey, it's much easier to lay off the breaking stuff when it's coming right. in towards you right. instead gonna of when it breaks away. Gonna go right here in the middle. I see. He's got the, the middle down, being the one, blue. One okay, okay. One half, nobody on. And we're gonna go for that high curveball. Swing and ah, two away. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks that we're just in the middle innings of this one? Now if he continues this up, seven. this could be a real <laughs> solid performance. <laughs> Oh, I've been nasty with them curveballs. Now the first pitch. Jacoby yeah. Jones is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. They hey, go for a high curveball. Right there, he can throw it any time he wants for a strike. Like a high curveball should not even be possible. Nothing in two count and well, the it, pitch. I, I wouldn't say it was possible. It should not even really even happen. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, and we are tied. So now here is Adderlin Rodriguez. I swear, if our guy get called up, he's definitely game. get a ball in. Pitching and defense have been We're gonna give Curveball so Joe. Oh, we screwed up. We're gonna give Curveball Joe a ball in if he gets called up. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a He's got to have the mullet. He's got to have the pit viper sunglasses. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor. At this rate, wasn't outrageous. it's just hey, pretty listen, nasty. Calling balls and strikes is a really tough oh, job. Oh, oh. Even the best are going to miss some from time That's to time. That's nasty. Especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Yeah, Not right. sure the hitter would want to hear oh, that, yeah. though. Boom. Standing in now, Brian Packard. One ball, no strikes to count. That would go across. Swung on and missed. One, one and one. one. Swing and a miss. Good sinking count, action one there. And one and two. two. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. He's throwing more strikeouts than most of the pitchers can. We'll stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Uh, let's see really if we can like getting ahead early Just slightly count. below he's the strike zone. And what that does, it holds the pitch count down. Behind 0-2 now. Oh, that's pretty much about it. And yet another strikeout here. <laughs> His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Five innings have been no problem as he's got the shutout working. Now to the plate, Daniel Panera. He set to lead us off in the sixth inning. You should give me basically a general direction where I should pitch the balls. Like. Top corner, left corner, right corner. Like a bingo sheet. But with nine squares. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. We'll put it in that red zone. Give him a little hope. Pitch well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to That's what I want to do. Have like a bingo sheet. Now at the plate, Eric Haas looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. You know what? The next game, I'm going to use a number generator. With one through nine, and it's going to determine the placement of each pitch for majority for the second time. Uh, of the rotation. Right he even doesn't strike out That'd be kind of fun. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Paul Peterson grounded out in his last at bat. Popped him up. Fox is there. Yeah, that'd be fun. Retired. Having a Make number generator. Shut out innings as he continues to give him fits out that'd there. Be easy. On to the bottom of inning number six, and we still have no score. 
Oh, that's gonna be easy. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Heading without allow. Oh, we can do that. We can do that. We're gonna go for the hard one. Risk the biscuit. Now here's the first offering. Curveball just misses apparently. One and zero. Little chopper back to the mound. The throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So now to the plate, Greg Garcia. He's now one for two in this one. The second base, Greg Garcia. First offering. Hey. There's a strike at the knees, all in one. And that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. In there at the knee. Oh, that should have been a ball. After falling down 0-2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Shot the weak knee to the left. Gonna go for a curveball right down the middle. The Just give him two. an opportunity. Gets him looking strike three. See, I give him an opportunity, right now, and he just looked at it. It's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each Look at that and every ball. one of these hitters up to this point. Jacoby Jones, the next to hit. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. I don't know if it's ruthless at the back. The so <laughs> yeah, the crowd is hype. They strike. know it. They so know it. Been a terrific outing for this guy. Right well, down the middle. Keeping his pitches to a minimum. Yeah! Miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. At another zero as it's up to seven shutout innings so far. We'll move on now to the bottom half. Of the end of the box, Adderlin Rodriguez. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, Maddie, and like what? Got it out if of if you got something working, why change it? Just down. keep it with the curveball. Oh, we're gonna end well, that history. Nice we're gonna end that history. He ain't getting no history. Sit down. <laughs> Ten game hit streak gone. Now is Bryant Packard. He went down on strikes last time up. Here's the first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Well, this one lands in the bullpen area. A foul ball. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. He's not going to get a chance. Ball misses inside. He didn't look okay, overly okay. cold right there because a lot of we'll do the will go to the stuff. Oh, and two, but <laughs> he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written the K next to his name in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. <laughs> yeah, Matt, there's been a real change. Nah, it just basically will allow me to pass a certain inning. And he blew it. That's okay. We blew the no hitter in the first inning because the third baseman watched that ball without even fielding it. But that's okay. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Swing and he pulls the top hand over it. Now we're going a little bit inside. Now the 0 and 2. <laughs> and another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking him up. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. And we still have Bryce Wilson. And of course, they pull us, the and we're not going to win. Oh, we do win. All right, what do we got here? Look at all those zeros. They went to the 13th inning. 
But yeah, the next game, we're going to use a number generator, and it will determine where I'm throwing the ball. It may not be precise based on the pitch, but it's going to make it kind of fun and interesting. Kind of gives it that bingo you sensation. Know exactly how close you are to making the major leagues. Sean Casey, you know more than a little about that. You only had to spend 20 games at AAA before you got the call to the majors for the first time. What's it like being on the doorstep of the show? Well, when you get to AAA, this is where you really want to impress because you know you're, the next call up is the big leagues, and that's what you've been dreaming about your whole life. So, you know, I think it, it, one thing when you get to AAA, there are a lot more veteran players, too. A lot of guys that have been up and down the big leagues. Sometimes oh, boy. Do come true. Yeah, we're going to the big leagues. Yeah. This player is about to get the chance that millions only dream of. The chance to see if he's got what it We're going to the show. MLB Central. Did it in one season. Exciting prospect who has made his way to the major leagues. Minor league podcaster Ben Gelman has been covering him for a long time and he joins us now. Ben, thanks for coming on. How did you become interested in his journey? Well, first off, I'm glad to be here, Robert. You know, I follow the draft every year to get a read on the prospects who are coming into the program. Oh, boy. And he's getting a lot of flack. A lot of folks thought yeah, he was There'd definitely be a lot, of, a lot of F for the batters. Can we get an F in the chat for all the amount of batters have to deal with Curveball Joe? That's pretty much what I would be saying. All right, we're playing against the Toronto Blue Jays. Got that number generator set up. Boy, Curveball Joe looks pretty slim. Slam with a flat ass. Here, north of the border at the Rogers Center in downtown Toronto. Today it's the rubber match of this three-game series between. Three. Leading up for Toronto, the shortstop. All right, first pitch is going to be a six. So that's going to be far middle right. So it's going to be the middle right curveball. Oh, it's going in the sweet zone. Oh, no. Not the first strike. Second one is actually going to be Royals over here. Entering play this afternoon, guys. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners Royal. last time out. Hey, thanks, Damn man. right, hey, he's been hitting the weights. Try to get on a kind of a little mini and here. losing the first game ball is going to be right here. Two, and hopefully this is going to make it more like interesting. Here today. Yeah, and Dan, they were able to shower that first loss oh off my in the God. first game of the This is actually kind of fun. Bounce back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal a Oh, we got our first strike. Strikeout. And with strike three recorded there, he's notched his first career major league strikeout. Well, Matt, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career. Again, it has it us do it in this location the here. At this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So Got it right we'll here. He becomes one of those guys. Oh, this, is, this makes the game long. more interesting. Something Using a number generator. Six miles an hour, it's 0-2. All right, I get that it. He Nets one guy's repertoire, but right now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Swing oh, to that's two strikeouts. Second out of the inning. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike oh my both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good that position to make it through the teeth of the lineup hard. without a whole okay. lot of stress. Jose Altuve okay. is in oh, the two no, now. Oh, no, it's, it's basically ball, almost one. in the same zone. And he falls behind oh boy. Back to back strikeouts. Oh, that's okay. Right here. Goes right here. A tone pound in the zone. Oh, we Missed got him. Ball, then that's how Three up. Comes to Three end. down. Nothing in the Toronto first. We'll go to the second from Rogers. Oh, 
bottom of the inning now. And standing in the outfielder, George Springer. Got one going right to this zone. On its way. Yep, that ball went out. Uh, apparent, apparent, well, the show likes to trade people around, which is kind of interesting. I don't think Jose Altuve is on the Blue Jays, is he? I, I don't recall. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, okay. and he's almost this there. He's going pitch, right here, going not liking where it's going to be at. Two and one. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync that's out there. That right tells there. me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Yeah, I actually I think Jose Altuve did get traded. Hard ground ball. To oh play. come on! Break into the hit column as that's a base hit. Nice adjustment by the batter. Right Look there. that up. I think Jose Altuve got traded. Again. First one he swings and misses through, and this one the batter's able to execute and drive it for a base hit. No, he's still on the Astro, surprisingly. That is good. The designated hitter. What a move! All right, so throwing right here. Plate. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. swings and sends it in the air out to left center. What is my guys doing? Runners at the corners to start off the inning. It's so important, Mark, to start to make quality pitches. And if you don't, this is what can happen. Two batters, two base this hits. This is not looking good. Third, nope. Nobody <laughs> out. Yeah, and you just got to prepare yourself as an offensive player. You're just trying to get the runner in from third. You can't worry about creating a monster inning. Do your job. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, why are you why are you not throwing to home, bud? Uh, it's okay. We'll get that per we'll get that no hitter. We'll get it in another game. To make it feel better, he did get a no hitter in his debut in the double A. He did. Which is like so long ago. Digging in will be Joaquin Diaz. He'll get us going in the home so half of inning number three. Ah. With that one, ball one. Got an R six in a row. Two sixes in a row. Damn. On and missed. One and one. one. Ball, one strike. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Ah, we got him. One, ball, tried to get one more. Airborne, but it's oh, one man. Another six. You expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Barehanded at his Got knees. Him. Got him. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Next, it'll be Adam Engel. And as you check out his righty lefty oh, splits, no right here at the team. he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Oh, and one. First pitch hack in here. Oh, and the first strike. oh man. Up to down. Job of changing speeds there. Oh, Back to two. two. Wow. Bases are empty. One man. The number generator is kind of making it a little interesting. How to play this game. Number nine. Uh, there we go. Is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a Got good the five. Oh, that right down the middle. I don't want to throw a five. When teams start figuring out what yeah. locations you just can't handle. Irizarry in foul ground. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. Four, four, six, three. Oh, I might give that an opportunity next time. It's kind of a little challenging to do. I'm not sure how MLB Show 21 kind of works with that. Get run back in this inning. Give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Strike one to start the at bat. Got this other corner too. Got him to go after that one. He's in a quick hold. 0 and 2. Oh, and I got it hey, right got in the middle. Perfect. Right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Here's a fly oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Looking up. Still no. Damn it. Hey, 
listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So damn it, run, a solo home well, run right here. Didn't mean to put that. Ball. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. As he'll chop it off to the right. It's strike one. Struck out in his first at bat. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. You know what makes this game better? When Jose Altuve have the uh, have the uh, trash cans going off. Strike three called, and that's going to be. Yeah, that ball got demolished. Not a good way. Some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. George Springer comes on with one gone here as he looks ball at a one. called strike oh, one. Oh, man. I got a ball, one strike. Got a red two. And he fouls this one off. It wouldn't surprise me if they pulled me one, in two. like the fifth or sixth inning. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond. Oh, there we go. That's one. It's going to be located right here. So he's down 0 1. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Oh, boy. This is foul right side. Well, that's what that's what I'm saying. They should have that boy. You know, MLB won't allow that. But the Danny set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that will bring up Rowdy Tellez. The first baseman swung out and missed that time. It's 0 1. All right. Look right into the oh, ship. come on. Hit it. Quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Next to hit, Luis McGuire. Okay, we got a nine to throw. So nine spot the of right corner. So no balls in one strike. Got a six. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Ball. Swing and and hopefully our right next one is going to be a four. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful right, up right. to this point. Pena in a few steps as he takes it, two down. Yeah. Next to bat for Toronto, Joaquin Dias, who bounced out one. last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's yeah. got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself uh, with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what five. makes him successful. At this rate, I'm going to make this in stage where it should be bingo night with this guy. Rolando well, first gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go to the They're down. I know, right? Two. They really shouldn't be. I'm throwing curveballs all over the place. But yet getting a strike. And now in the box, Adam Engel. And through five turns at bat, they've only oh, that's a total nine. Of three okay. hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all seven. Oh. Yeah, they're definitely just not oh. the ABs. The game plan they had coming in hasn't been. You didn't want to get you didn't want to lay out to get the jersey. To up a bit. First offering on its way. Bouchet is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Pena is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. The next batter is Jamer Candelario. He's working on the one for two game so far. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. And they tag him out, but this will work as a sort of a sacrifice as the runner moves up. Sometimes for a first base, it's looking pretty good so far. Go only gave him up like two that. runs. There's it's not too bad. When you try to put the pitcher or the second baseman oh, cover. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why ah, we got to you. Pitch deep into this game. Behind 0-2 oh, now. For a six, which is right here. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Over to first, and that retires the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no error. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Last half I did not think they were going to keep us in. The veteran outfielder, George Springer. That's not going to look too good. Right deal. Here comes the first pitch. And that's by him. It's 0-1. This is why the manager got it down here. in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Pena is there. One away. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. A hitter two tries for him so far. Got that's one beat in the sit zone. Into the windup. Man, Vladimir strike zone area is just like all solid red. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs. Ah, we got him. They're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not sit down, Vladdy. He looks really solid to me. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. becomes right. the second okay. out of the bottom of the seventh. Got six. Oh. Got to go here. Field in the overshift here. Now the pitch. <sighs> Rowdy Tellers is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Swing and misses. He pulls the top hand over. It's Owen. And, and we're going to go for that high curveball. And he's got himself another one. Yeah. Up strikeout number got nine it. here, and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. They trail 5 2. Stepping in for the Jays, Reese McGuire. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Or right here. First offering. Not even close on that swing. No balls in the strike. Oh, they want us to go four. I mean, five this time. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Nobody here, nobody. Uh, the only downside is they got to deal with trying to figure out Nothing where the curveball is going to be. And the pitch. And he struck him out. The exactly. The set down on strikes thus far. For my money, there's nothing better than a Usually when a pitcher later. throws a curveball, it's usually in a certain zone. I am just now throwing it all over the place. Creating mayhem. I would say mayhem. Chaos. We got chaos going on with curveball. So take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A ball and a strike. I got one ball, one strike. We're in the eighth inning now of a 5 to 2 ball game. Oh, it's a 1-1 pitch count. I thought I got him on two. One and two. The problem no, that's okay. Oh, why? I don't want to throw it there. I don't want to throw it there. Oh, but that's okay. We got lucky. And their strikeout number 11 in the ball game. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start. Oh, that's just nasty. The way it just slows down at the end. He's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. Now it'll be Adam Engel. And they're down to their final Adam. four outs here, Dan. Oh, yeah, it's not looking ah, too good for them I thought right that was going to be a They've got a zone. significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. Hey. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. One ball, one strike to count. <laughs> uh, uh, the catcher one, one. just like looking at my guy, I'm like... I'm getting real sick of your and shit, curveball. By the pitcher right there, stealing the strike with that get me over breaking ball. And after like throwing the strike out, he'll be like, you know what? It's curve. okay, curveball. Do what you want to do. Number zero is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Kyle Zimmer takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close. And we got yeah, our first game, win. Try to find a way to be first strikeout. They win the first first game win. The month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. Five to two, the final today. Kansas City wrap it's up just their nasty. Gave up four hits. Number zero. We only gave up four hits. So it's not bad. Next game, we're going to try to go for the no-hitter. Going to try. The last game, I was kind of screwing around. <laughs> A 
A major league pitching coach acknowledges a young newcomer on an early milestone accomplishment. Yeah, I might put up the ego. I made him look clueless out there. I have no clue what just happened. It's just the game just switched it. Oh, it just ended dialogue. We'll do this. All right, we got our next game. We're going to try to go for the no hitter. Only gave about four hits. Not too bad. But we got to get better. Yeah, Kansas City Royals aren't going to the playoffs. MLB The Show has baseball for you on a Saturday night. I just realized that the stats Tonight, are so bad. This three game interleague series between the Kansas City Royals and the St. Louis Cardinals. It's Cardinals baseball. No, I think I think he knows how to throw the fastball, but I think it's that a lot of people are like, he's throwing curveball. And then they see the fastball, they're like, oh shit, he can throw another pitch. Jack Flaherty, <laughs> California born right hander, is on the mound. That's the way that, that's the way I think it. Things off here in the bottom half of the first. So we're gonna go to the bottom left corner. Dan D. Rowe will take a look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. They suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still six and two over their previous eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, I don't think yesterday's loss should be a focus. Just gonna try to get those whatsoever. I think they showered that one off. They had a big winning streak coming into their last game. Drop that one, but let's see if they start it. Ah, that's our first today. strikeout. Ah, uh, the good curveball gets him swinging for route number one. Digging in, the switch hitter, Dylan Carlson, as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. Oh, behind not where I want to throw that ball. The count, 0 and 1. Well, we're just going to go a little bit low. Chase the low ball there. We're going to make him chase it. We're going to make him chase for it. 22 year old. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Maybe lucky to get a piece there. It stays 0 and 2. Throw it a little bit down Not low inside. On. We're going to try and make him swing. Uh, had him yeah. And through the curveball. Two down. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some that damage. Hurt. So oh when you goodness. strike both of them out, got to keep it close. I don't want to hit and get an opportunity to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. What the hell was that? Arenado is at the plate as he looks at ball one. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. <laughs> Is that an effort to keep him from uh, getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts. Uh, he's not the Terminator. This is not the target there with the curveball. This is not the Terminator. Come with me. I have the middle. Come with me. I have the curveballs. In time and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the cart. Last God, they're making it sound like he's a cyborg. He ain't no cyborg. He's just a he's just a uh, curveball. Because nobody's going to be expecting the curveball. Just to like just the way how life is. You never know what you get. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is Throw it down below, you. risk the biscuit. Himself into a very solid wow, we got ball, you. That's a big accomplishment. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. No one on with one that down, good. and that'll bring in that's the... Our boy is powered, powered by mayonnaise. And he waves at a curveball there. No mayonnaise and two sticks of margarine. Just squeezing in those and curveballs. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And 
and he got ah, him. Ah, we got him. Wow, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough good. pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes Man. to work deep into this Go game. Down, Matt Carpenter is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Swing and a miss. Oh, oh, we got him. Over. It's 0 and 2. Wow. Hey, if the beat goes on, that's number eight. Swing yeah. and, miss, and that's out number three. So Damn right, he does. To the record book here <laughs> as he strikes out the side on nine pitches. We're back with more on this Saturday night. Oh, we're batted. So oh, no. Number take his first oh, you got your wish. Here. We're batted. Oh, boy. Here's the pitch. Hit hard to short. Ah. Uh. Come on, no! <laughs> so short. KC down in order. Back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskirchen here as it'll be Yadier Molina to lead things off. Oh, no. Oh, that's a fly ball. Keith is there, and he has it for the first down. So next to bat will be Austin Dean, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't what is my curveball doing? His club have been hoping for. I put it in the right spot, and it just barely gets right there. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fast. Oh, he's the size of a gumball. He's a human gumball. Swing and One miss. Ball. Good sinking two action there. One and two. And a swing and a miss. And another punch. At that rate, he could be Con I Joe. Where'd he come? Two. Where'd he go? That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. So now to the plate, Jack Flaherty. So wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. The count, okay. the count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with strike. Ah, we we'll got him. Press pause is that strike three to retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the Here inning. And that'll we'll bring up the outfielder, Lane Thomas. Hey. Curveball looked at here for strike oh, one. Man. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are oh, you happy with down. that, Dan? Uh, I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command at their off-speed oh, pitches. Oh, man. This is Got one out. One of those low-scoring affairs. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Lane Thomas the is dealt with for the first three. out in the Eight. bottom of the Dylan. inning. Dylan Carlson is oh, next as he man. finds himself behind 0-1. Curveball, swing and a miss, and he's behind and go for it that two. right side hey, mid area. Right there. And we got him. Anytime he wants Caught him strike. looking. And he punches out another he's looking one, like a fool. Nine for the ball game. Here's Nolan Arenado trying to avoid. Yeah, I don't want. I do not want him touching the ball. Here. Couldn't quite time the breaking ball there as this is fouled away off to the right. Strike one. Ah! Uh, lays off the breaking ball inside. For sure, you would have it. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier two. than he intended. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now, and he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. All right, second chance at bat. Number zero. Oh man. We'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. We got another opportunity. Got a runner on first and second, two out. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. Swing and a laser. Swung a little too late. Territory. Comes set. The 0-1. Hard hit towards center. Ah, oh, that's a fly you're ball. Scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring. Damn. Trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Royal Strand. Of pay. That was kind of unfortunate. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. 
And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh, Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. No this guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get All I know is the league is going to have right a rude awakening and when Roy McGee gets the MLB to show 21. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really big good boy hitter. Roy has, has yet to get the ball the zone, for the big league. He challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. 0 for 1. Went down looking his first time up. DeYoung in an 0 and 2 down, down, hole down. here. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on the proverbial rocking horse all night. Aye. Changing speeds, hitting every quadrant. He's tough to hit. And he throws him on the breaking ball that time. Paul DeYoung comes the second out in the bottom Man, of the Man, it's the fifth it's inning. It feels like it's the seventh, but it, we're not there yet. Yeah. He swings and misses for strike one. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. Ah. Ball, but he wouldn't bite. It's one and two. I don't know if that was a great take or he got, got him looking. And that'll do it. The inning is Yeah, over. that's a good one. That would be an one, interesting two, three, matchup. Sixth inning oh, boy. Up, still zip, zip. That would be a good matchup. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And here now is the catcher, Yadier Molina. The catcher. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. In there. Every son, I would have to simulate and watch the game just to see how that would work. Right now. On. He's got everything working. Get on the ground down the first baseline. And he take it to the bag himself for the out. Royce McGee versus Austin Herball Joe would be a clash of titans. And he clearly couldn't make up his mind on that one coming in. A swing and a miss. Boy, the thing is. Curveball Joe would be picking off Royce McGee off the base if Royce gets a single Ooh, or a double. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind we of know gets hit out of the ball Royce mark. McGee cannot Struck steal base for his dear life. 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Stepping in now, Jack Flaherty has the first pitch to him. Oh, we're going we're gonna to take this pitcher. One. We're going to mess he's with him. for one thus far. Hit on the ground is short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first. Saves an error. All right, we're almost there. Return. Down in order. We're almost there. Oh man, bases are loaded. One out. Oh boy. Uh, we're gonna just go with the easy one. First pitch on its way. Hit in the air down the right field line. Go! Ah, that was not even a. I thought that was going to be a good hit, but it's not even. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some run score for him, but particularly... Definitely. Ritz McGee doesn't really do tonight. like that. I don't understand why the skip always wants him to steal base once in a while. Oh, one for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Hey, the guy on the but the real go, right. he'll be coming soon, and, and his name is game. Homer Joe. He'll be the go, the ultimate goal, go, when it comes to field. Lifted in the air toward the line oh and boy. Right. After it is Solaire. Because uh, Homer Joe, he's been stealing down. bases at the rate of Ricky Henderson. Next, it'll be Dylan Crossan. He was sent packing on strikes. So it'll be kind of fun yeah, getting Matty, Homer Joe from MLB system. Show 15 to 21. That'll be kind of fun. Has to put the ball in play. The wind up and the 0-1. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's and not the And then I case have here. a pitcher really that I plan on me. making 
start from MLB The Show 14 to get to 21. And he'll be kind of fun to play with. see in the game today, Dan. That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Now, yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting and Oh, he swung today. way too early. Think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts oh, at an alarming rate in baseball right now. One and one the count. And the pitch. A uh, good break to that thing, and it's one and two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. We'll try again, one, two. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They trail it here, two to nothing. Brings up Paul Goldschmidt. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Always a tall task trying to rally back in the late Getting closer. I don't know why St. Louis is standing up. We're away. And the pitch. Tiger run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Ah, we got him. at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Paul Goldschmidt becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Paul DeYoung. Oh, I, I have one ready. Uh, he's going to be kind of fun and entertaining. Oh, that's a long shift. so far this season. DeYoung is a batting line residing in the 230s. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy. I do have a this season, Nets pitcher ready. A variety oh, of different man. ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three-one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Now the payoff pitch home. Ah, we got him. Three. We're getting into the nitty gritty. That's the second out of the eighth inning, and the pitcher needs only four more outs for a no-hitter. Matt Carpenter is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many oh, We're almost away. there. We've got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. Oh, not yet. We got three more outs. We got three more. It's the Royals two and the cart. All set for the bottom of the night. Oh boy! The catcher Yadier Molina. The catcher. Now here's the first offering. And that's cut on and missed on one. Yadier Molina is a good batter. He's a good batter. Barely able to make contact. Down See, I don't want to throw it to him. Kind of, now sort of low and pitch. down and out. Ah, he's got a good eye. Overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff. 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a break. Yeah! Got two more to go. A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. Into the box now, Austin Dean. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. No hits to this point. Two balls and no strikes to the Cardinals center fielder. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job than this at that, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Now the 2 1. And when a guy starts leaving the curveball up, that's a sign he's beginning to tire a little bit out there. Yeah, got we got one more. On pitch, one more. Getting hurt. So he racks up the swinging Body's starting to get a little shaky ball. here Austin from nervousness. Out number two this inning. Tommy Edmund will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. First offering on its way. Two outs already on the K this oh, inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Oh, oh man, man. getting kind of close. Two-run game, last of the ninth with two away. 
One more. Can we get it? We're going to fish him. Go for that low curveball. Yeah! A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Kansas City Royals, two runs on five hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Oh, man. We got that. No error, no hits. We got a, a no hitter. I didn't even pay attention to that. <laughs> yeah, that's that is kind of insane. <laughs> a young pitcher is called into his manager's office after a notable performance. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I'm getting there, Skip. <laughs> Go for the lotto. We got a no hitter. Can we do something that is the unthinkable? Go for a second no hitter. Well, we actually did. We got two no hitters in the season. One single season. From his coach after a memorable appearance. Oh, don't tell me we're playing the Yankees. Uh, we're going to increase curveball velocity. That's what we're doing. I hope this is not a mini game. A player receives a check in from one of his coaches. Uh, we're going to go for s strikeouts. A rookie has a lot of expectations on them and a lot oh, of that comes so from how they performed in the minor. I have like you know that, in my you know as well as anybody, opening debut in double A a no hitter and so far one no hitter so it's just you know what you learn at the AAA level in the major so um, let's see if we can get two in the major the league point. in the same season because they won't count the minor league I would if I could Yeah, we gotta we gotta beat Roy Holiday. That's what we gotta do. Friday night baseball from the K Kaufman Stadium in Kansas. Number zero, a right-hander from Michigan, is the starter on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, I think the key for him is going to be locating strikes and forcing soft contact. He doesn't have dominant stuff compared to some other guys, but if he executes, he can still be very effective. We'll see how he does. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Royals as they enter play. Going for that Nets one, it got to start out with one, one batter at a time. Oh, boy. Yeah, Matty, these players got in their cars today to drive to the stadium focused on one thing. Not who was going to be the hero. Just oh, the that they a w, and that one of their it's being clever. I'm going to pull up, go far right side. Well, oh, come on. That was in the strike now. zone. Tried to get him to bite on that curveball, but no luck. It'll be interesting to see what he goes with now with the count even at 2-2. Right. Is he going to be like that? We're going to pitch right, it a little two, bit two, inside. One more time. Oh, and a big curveball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is retired to start out the game. 
next here is Harrison Bader and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for just feeling ruthless One thing I'm gonna keep my I want to go for that second no hitter if we can how he's able to stay ahead of hitters it makes pitching at this level a lot easier and when you're trying to establish yourself in the big leagues you're going to have a much better time doing that if you attack hitters from the get-go so we got him looking there Harrison Bader goes down for out number two in the top half Nolan Arenado is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Late decision to swing that no time, and as a result, it's 0-2. I want to try to do is get 27 batters. That's well, what I want to try to do. He strikes out, and that ends the inning. I want to pull Randy Johnson. That's what I want to do. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He's currently near the top of the batting average leaderboard, but he'll have to pick up the pace a little bit over the next several weeks if he wants to jump into that top spot. Yeah, I don't want him to put pressure on himself right now, but he's got two oh, to man. Get right here to vault himself into that I will top take spot. that all. Thank you. Certainly had an amazing year up until this point. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. And he's a guy oh, looking to break really like out in a big these way. guys. Hasn't been getting the results he one. or his club have been hoping for. Ball one, the wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Swung on and one missed ball, on a pitch right. at the hey, thumbs. Right. A ball and a strike. Swing and a miss. Good second action one and there. Two. 1 and 2. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Oh, I will. Here he Since comes you mentioned it, I'll change strikes. it up. And this is ah, we did. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really that's force good. hitters to expand their zone of protect. And when Man. they're in that mode, oh, getting the them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Great curveball there, oh, really you. fooled him with that one. Yeah, I'll be interested to see if he triples up on it right there. Ah, oh, yeah. we got him. Is that strike three to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Tyler O'Neill. So far, looking so far good. We got to keep going. First pitch of the AB on the Trying to get 27 batters. Good off speed oh, pitch. Had him out in front for strike one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. Yeah. Oh, He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. They just can't touch him right now as this is swung on and missed. Seven punch outs now, and there's one away. One away. Got to get. Dylan Carlson is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Oh, jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot oh, of. Oh, man. Time. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Oh, Bounced softly in front of the plate. Oh, Very man. There. They're too gone to well, start the inning. There goes the 27. That's okay. So the next to bat. kind of anticipating it. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Oh, count. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Wave deck and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect got him that to foul get ball clean. right to the pecker. Now another 0 2. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Standing in as the switch hitting second baseman, hey. Tommy Edmond. In there, no balls in the strike. Can't Can't find the zone there I, I thought that was going to be a ball. strike. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero. Oh, uh, no! Like that to go ah, there, there goes the no hitter. Nice execution right there, Dan. Damn Kept it. Front shoulder in. Kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base up the middle. And here, 
pitcher right there. You can't one. get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Behind 0-2 now. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Up next, Nolan Arenado struck out in his first at-bat. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time no through ball, the order. Right. And we just saw three in a row. Now a swing as he stays alive as this is fouled back right off the catcher's arm. Hmm. I think a big reason why he's been so effective. And one, just like that, we got our strike. Getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to get are way worse. Paul Goldschmidt stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm going ah, we got him. And that'll do it. The inning is over. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Paul DeYoung. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 1. DeYoung in an 0 2 hole here. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Uh, he's just rolling right now. An even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Striding forward now is the DH. Matt Carpenter. First time doing up pretty good so far. Only gave up one hit. Kind of unfortunate. Got him to go after that one. He's in a quick hold. 0-2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. So we got him looking there. Matt Carpenter becomes the second out here in inning number five. Tyler O'Neill stands in as he looks at a called strike. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. Easy. Easy. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Ball and one. There's the big breaking ball, and it's by him for a strike. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Now with the plate is Ivan Herrera looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. No balls in one strike. The 0 one Yeah, I'm just throwing curveballs. That's all I'm doing is just throwing curveball. Last game we had a no-hitter. Uh, unfortunately, this one got up down the middle, costed us a hit. The breaking ball called just a bit but that's low. okay. Last hey, game we had no hitter, so I felt pretty good about that. Ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. That brings in Tommy Edmond. A hit and two at-bats for him at this point in the ball game. Ooh, Dozier picks it up. Throw to first oh. with time to spare, and the side is retired. Getting so closer. Good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine. Due up in the hole. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Oh, my God. I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strikes on the wall, and they trusted their defense. And to we're going to go plays, right here with this. That. Yeah, with the curveball. The game that could really go either way in these late innings. Gotta go down the low corner. Here's another 0 2. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? Yeah, that was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these ball days. Ones. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate of baseball right now. 
hit on the ground after short. Throw on to first, two gone. All right. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Getting closer. We just need one more to get out of this inning. Pitch. Swing and this one's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's on. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Look down in order, go the car. Ready to begin the eighth. And that great bring in team. The Illinois State. I'm trying to keep them down and low. Just kind of my game plan. Right oh. here, but the exploding oh. stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just more than 95 plus. Stuff diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to go for the other runs corner. against these teams' bullpens. And the third ball is nine <laughs> that time as he falls behind now. One and two. Hits this one hard the other way. Alberto has it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Matt Carpenter. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. I just realized I've only thrown 80 total pitches already. That is insane. There's a breaking ball that falls in there for a strike to even things at one and one. Uh, you can tell this guy's got great feel for all this stuff right now. To break out that nasty hammer right there, this guy's on point. And another foul ball. Swing, line, drive. No! Heading for second is Carpenter. And there's your time run at second base with a one-out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. The shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one. All we gotta do is just get through this inning to get a shutout. Stepping in for the all we gotta do. Dylan Carlson trying here to plate the tying run from second. First pitch curveball swung out and missed. Strike one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. 0-2. Oh, Here it is. Weak grounder down the line at third. Uh, this will be a foul ball, and it's still going to go for that two. far side curveball. Strike yeah! Ball. 19 strikeouts for him now. Kyle Zimmer comes on from the pen. All right, so we may, oh, are you kidding me? Oh. We had the lead, and they changed it. God damn. They should have just let me pitch for nine innings. Yeah, should have they should have let us pitch nine innings. We could have closed that game out. We got knuckleball. Uh, we'll just increase our durability. Oh God, not this game. <laughs> no. Oh, this is gonna be brutal. We got DDR coming up. I have no idea what we're doing. This is so funny. Ah, just going too fast. I can't even keep up. 
Just did a little bit of DDR right there. <clears throat> Yeah, definitely, it, it definitely does feel a little bit more difficult. In fact, that should be one of those, instead of using the buttons, it should be played with either an analog or the bumper or trigger buttons instead. Because it has a better feel. Pushing one button in those locations is just kind of not really set for that appropriately. Because when you're doing that mini game, you actually have to use four fingers. Off I'm only on using the one. East side of town, we're at Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. Tonight it's game three of this four. It's right. Royals baseball coming up next. Gonna throw Number more zero. nasty curveballs. We have 52 and strikeouts in three got. games Boy, so this far. This guy was unbelievably good in this last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance. Throwing curveballs. I ignore my catcher working. signal. We're Let just throwing curveballs. Back with him in this one. Too. And that one yanked just foul. First pitch. 7 11. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Huh. Strike two. He obviously found a great feel for that breaking chase ball after that ball for the game. Lead off hitter getting two curveballs. Oh, that's got to be a strike. Oh, Six you got to be kidding go me. He did not, says Ed Drummond. It's ball one. We're doing it again. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. That should have been a strike. Game time temperature, a comfortable 76 degrees. Oh, and a good curveball gets him swinging for the first out of the evening. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Into the box, Kyle Tucker. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. Oh. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. Fair to say they're not ah, playing their best Come on, got to raise right that curveball up a little bit. Last six. Yeah, Matty V, and you know what, D-Roll, this is when you really get tested. They, they call it the dog days of August for a reason. When you're struggling like this team is right now, the games get long, the schedule gets long. And you yeah, he kind of looks like it, to be honest. Yeah, but you got to find a way. Dan. So I got to you know, bully that geek. Gotta look in the mirror. Just like that, we bullied more. the geek with a strikeout. this team is underachieved, you got to keep grinding. you got to find a way to put your foot on the gas and show up to the yard every day ready to go. Alex Bregman is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? I'm not allowing yeah, think the Houston idea, Astros to get any sign signals off one of me. Now, is that they should only know the right He's off the bat. It's well an automatic curveball. That's row. it. That's the only sign they're getting. Right here. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution Ooh. was flawless. Nice curveball that Get starts it. in the zone and breaks two. And we'll just leave Thank it there goodness. as they make the play to end the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Carlos Correa is in to start things off here as he looks at a cold strike. It's nothing in one. Oh, and he's really oh, getting man. the better of it's him. It's not looking too bad. We got him in you could tell by a 0 2 pitch count. We got, got him. We got him. Really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Carlos Correa goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. Anthony Rizzo is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Jumped ahead with All we're doing is just bullying these guys. We're bullying them with a curveball. Gotta put it down below. It's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Chopped weakly to the left. No score here as we play inning number two. Ran one in tight that time is all he can do is foul this one away. All right. Want to be that way? We'll pitch on the far side. Oh, 
one. This is swung on and missed. Ah. And already, and that's out number two. Wow, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Ramon Laureano is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Front door with the curveball, and he catches the corner for a called strike. To one and okay, two. okay. Now we can work with this. Put it right there. Very weakly on the ground. Uh, we'll put it a little go. far outside. Again, one, two. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Top of the third set to get underway. And that'll bring up Jonathan Scope to hit next. Breaking ball oh. was cut on <laughs> the first strike. Uh, what's more oh, awesome, the curveball or the fact that a gumball right can throw a curveball? He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. Here's Randall Gritchett. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. Oh, this we... Yeah, we're getting them. Catching them looking. Ha-ha! <laughs> well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. No balls and a strike to count. Foul okay. Looks like that's going to make it into like the, the medium seat. sweet spot. We'll go down, down bottom right pitch. corner. All right. Got to throw it below. And yeah. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. His. His limbs just go right through his body. It doesn't even flow correctly with the physics. Adam Eaton. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. I've made a guy that is broken. into the bottom part of the zone. Boy, that's just about in the catcher's glove there. It's 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight being aggressive early on and if he continues to throw strikes like he is he's going to have a pretty good night again he sends it out of play no out here. another 0-2 home got him looking out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far that swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the oh, best. Oh no! Either. Okay, it's a fly ball. What? Oh come on! Tip off his glove and it's a base hit. Not oh! There goes no hitter. The kind of AB that gets him out of that slump. Smart That is BS. Just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. And that will bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Oh, and one the count. Counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. A uh, good break to that thing, and it's one and two. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. And another foul ball. Here he comes again, one, two. Popped him up. I got it. McCroom is over now, and he's got it for route number two. Next up for the Strohs, Carlos Correa. Runner in scoring position with two guys. No balls in one strike. The 0 1 offering. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. On 0 2 here. Yeah, we just got out of it. The side, and that will do it. Now the first pitch. 
Anthony Rizzo will stand in for the second time now. As he looks at the Still pissed the fact the fielder could not catch that ball. In this situation. It cost him another no hitter. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. One out, base is empty. Digging in now. Ramon nope, Loriano. that's the unfortunate part. Here's the first pitch to him. And he Tells me that I'm going to want to be traded. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. And probably want to get traded to one team that's really fitting. Probably become a Yankee. The Yanks. So two are Maybe. For the Astros in the fifth. And that means or a Dodger. Get ready at the plate. Bouncer up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. Randall Gritchick at the plate One now. Strike. No balls and a strike to count. Ani takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. And he's yeah! Got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game and Striding in for Houston, Jason Castro. He'll start Only had 63 pitches. Lineup. That's not bad. He really hasn't found his groove in this one. And that is Whoa! off the first base bag. What the hell? He won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. I know that has to be yeah, frustrating they finally from score. a pitcher standpoint. But nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single. Ah, <laughs> struck him out. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Kyle Tucker is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Here Rosari into shallow center. He gets there and that's the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Castro, runner at first with two gone. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Can't waste getting the lead off. Right. We'll leave it right there as he strikes out. Oh, man, we're the almost end. there. Astros lead. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. 0-1 the count. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking one ball. ball. One strike. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the one guy ball. they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Trying to strike him out for the third time. No. Uh. Barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. Hey, we got three more and runs. I didn't Anthony even realize that. Go for two for him to this point. Huh. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Uh, you can tell this guy's got great feel for all his stuff right now. To break out that nasty oh, hammer right there, this guy's on point. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Rounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Struck him. Ah, we got struck him. him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Now into the box, Ramon Laureano grounded out in his last at bat. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Boy, he's been great in this one, and he's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. No runs, three hits, one error so far for the Astros. And he struck him out, 16 for the ball game, and the inning is over. Three go the Astros. Josh DeMond. Okay. From the they relieved us, but we get the win. You sweep the backs like these guys did today. Four bombs. Anytime you hit four home runs, you got a pretty good chance. Uh,
gave up one run. But yeah, we gave up probably a few hits. Not too bad. Kind of surprised he didn't keep us in for the eighth inning, but that's okay. Gave up three hits. Heck of a performance in his last time on the mound. I know it's still a small sample size, but I'm seeing a guy who can really challenge hitters at this level. Al Leiter, what are you seeing when you look at him? I'm seeing an exceptional plus fastball. This is a guy that everybody in the game knew that this is what he Jokes possessed. on you, buddy. So I, I don't throw fastballs. He throw curveballs. He's now able to show the Major League world, right? So uh, what he was able to show, I think it's just dominating stuff. You know, there's nothing cute about it. Went right after hitters. Wipe out off-speed breaking stuff. And then the exceptional arm. So I think... What he really represented is a guy that knows he can pitch here, and I believe he belongs. Oh, no. Oh, I almost thought we were playing a mini game. We're going to play one more game. Going to play one more game. Going to try to get a no hitter. Going to try. Chances are slim and none. Yeah, I'm. I have almost have more strikeouts than their starting pitcher has First so far. Open to the year 2000, we're live. Jose Urquidy, the right-hander from Mexico, gets the hey, ball. Here. And now in the box, Adam Eaton. He'll lead things off here, here in go. the bottom Holy half Astros. of the first. The designated hitter. Here it comes. Adam. Right through it here. He's behind 0-1. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. They come in looking uh, it's to make two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty. Yeah, really you, know what, you gotta this remember really the Disney that's launching it's California, so they don't launch. When you're struggling like this team is right now, the games get long, the schedule gets long, and you start so, looking forward towards the end of the season. It's California, yeah, so they're not gonna allow it. As well as I do, you gotta look in the mirror. You're playing for way more. Especially the way this team is underachieved. Why is you it weird to on the curveball? the way, put your foot on the gas and show up to the yard every day ready to go. Kyle Tucker is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Oh, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is... Yeah! Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion. But sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, d -Roll. one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses. Strike two. Got him. Yeah. That ends the inning. It's looking good so far. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. No balls in one strike. Here's a late swing and a miss. All right, it's looking pretty good so far. To see what the Got him goes caught up. Now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Batting first good. delivery to him. The first baseman. Anthony no, Rizzo day. comes on with one away as he what looks the at the hell ball. does the Astros get Anthony Rizzo? That evens it up one and one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. No ah. on that one. Two balls and a strike. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Oh, come on. I got robbed. That should have been a strike. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Hit down the line at first. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Good battle. Count remains full. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. 
drilled to first. He will not stop. And he'll take it there we go. For the out. Base is empty, two away. And up next will be Ramon Laureano. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike oh, one. The count. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Aye. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Bottom of the second here with no score. Got him swinging, and that will end the end. There we go. So nothing happening this time around. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Jonathan Stoke is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence. 0-2, right, throw it across. Ah. Count remains at 0-2. Oh, we got him looking. Ball there is that buckled him for the first out of the inning. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Rendell Richard swings and misses there, so he's down 0 1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. Go, this I guy's pounding this on. Whip ranges back, and he has it for out number two. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. Right. He's a guy looking to break Good out picture. in a big way. Oh, Hasn't down. been getting the results Just he or his club have been hoping for. Jumped ahead oh, with man. strike one there. Right, we got to get a lower curveball. He's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's a... But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. All right. Three innings away. In the inning now. And digging in is the veteran. Got the fourth inning Adam now. The breaking Adam. ball there. Had him frozen. Strike one. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Now here it comes. Chopped weakly to the left. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. And another foul ball. Here's another one, too. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now. For there we go. Game. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Pops this one up. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. Come and on. If he continues to throw strikes like he is, uh, he's going to throw it down low, night. right, right below the strike zone. And he yeah. out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Alex Bregman is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Come on. Yeah! him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Astros go down. Back with Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, Matt Vasgersian, as the Puerto Rican sensation and former number one overall pick Carlos Correa gets set to start the inning. Carlos Correa is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line, he left, hooking just I almost, I almost thought that was gone. Track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. So bases oh are empty with one out now. Don't want to deal with Anthony Rizzo. And first baseman Anthony Rizzo. Strike one to start the at bat. Oh, he's baffled by the curve that time for a strike. 
Man, this guy's really pitched well so far. Attacking the strike zone. Yeah, we really caught him looking. Kept these hitters off balance. And he throws him on the breaking ball that time. Anthony Rizzo becomes out number two this inning. Ramon Moriano is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he's got yeah. another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the one, two, three. Ready to go for the last half of the yeah. inning, yeah. and that'll bring up Jonathan Scope to hit next. Just gets there. a piece of it, strike one. 0-1, oh here he comes. And he clearly couldn't make up his mind on that one coming in. A swing and a miss. This is on the ground over the first. Go, go, go. And he'll take it to the bag and shout for the out. Next to hit is Rendell Gritcher. He flew out in his last A.B. Not too bad, not too bad. I'll take it. That pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. One more. And that's in there as well. 0-2 oh, now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Got him. Yeah. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. So next to hit is Jason Castro. Struck out in his first at bat. Way behind that pitch. It's 0-1. Oh, Popped him up. Gallagher is under it. And that retires the side. We got now two more innings to go. Last half of the seventh here. And the next to bat is Speedy Adam Eaton. Well, it's been a frustrating game for these guys. We've definitely seen some A-Bs where guys just look absolutely lost at the dish. Got to believe the hitting coach no someone. Maybe a veteran's down in that dugout keeping everyone calm. You cannot let this offense. Oh, no! And ah, that hit. sucks. So the perfect game bid ends God in the seventh. damn it. Ah, they finally break through for their first hit of the ball game. So the no God hit bid damn it. end right here. Oh, yeah, yeah Matt, if you, this is when you start thinking about that no-no. You get into the seventh inning, Dero. As a pitcher, you start looking ahead to what might happen. And that donut stares at you from an offensive standpoint as well. This guy's had his A game. You can't deny the fact that he's pitched a heck of a game. But from an offensive standpoint, you never stop grinding to get a crooked number up on that board. Still one and two. Oh, he will not stop. Ah. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Alex Bregman is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. In there, and it's even at one. One and two now. The problem for the Hey, where you been? He's so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. He throws him on the breaking ball that time. Alex Bregman takes Number his one. third strikeout of the day. Oh. Carlos Correa oh. is in for a third oh. plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. Third ball, Joe, ball. back at it. Here's a breaking ball that falls in there for We a did get our no-hitter in our second debut with uh, uh, the Royals. One and two. So we did so get a no-hitter. a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well. Keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate, good command of the off-speed pitches, very little traffic on the bases so far. He well, the side is retired as they make the play. Jacob Junis. Oh, come on. Let me continue to pitch. Oh, that's disappointing. That is disappointing. Why would they pull me? I only gave up one hit. game I want to get a win here I 
I mean, he's coming off exactly. an absolutely dominant pitching performance his last time out. Like, yeah. seriously. If nothing is wrong, then why on earth would they just simply do that? Like, if it's working, don't change it. From the Soto District of downtown Seattle, we've got baseball under... Ready now is Sam Haggerty. He'll lead things off here in the what bottom What are they the doing with this game? Like, they've changed up the way I'm seeing the game. Like, two or three times they enter play here tonight. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've brought five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie. if they're going to clean up their recent trend right now, they're going to have to find a way for it to start on the mound. They can't go out like last game and allow a bunch of runs and not play sound defense behind them. Both those things are going to have to change if this team's going to get it going in the right direction. So it was a swinging strike three. Sam Haggerty is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Dylan Thomas comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Ball. And there's ball what one. The Thomas going on? is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball, given the position he plays. And not only just speed, there we first go. step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, this guy's dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and... A swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it. Yeah, we got one inning down. We got many more to go. Last half of the second set to go. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Evan White. Gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? So it was a strikeout. Oh, hell no. We keep it going with the curveball. First out here in the bottom of the second. The designated hitter. Michael Chavis stands in as he looks at a called strike. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do oh, a lot boy. of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Digging in now for the Mariners, Dylan Moore. Nine at bats in the series and four base hits. No ball. Not even close on that swing. No balls in the strike. Fooled with the oh, got there. one more. Gonna make him chase yeah, for that gonna one. Pound the zone with this stuff all game. The oh, come on! Somebody's gonna have to pull it Seriously, just slide for the ball. Well, not the way you'd like to draw up an 0 2 pitch. I'm not gonna lie, from this team. A pretty good job of really sucks. Yeah, and he did an excellent job. I had an opportunity for a no hitter. I know he was down 0 2. But he bolted his neck and he stayed in there. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Oh, wow. This team just is really bad. Oh, two home. Now a foul tip held on to behind the plate. Nice work there to get the punch out. So now into the box is Jake Fraley. And D-Road down six already in the early part of this ball game. What's the mentality for them as they try to work their way back? You know what, Matty? This is where you take some pride for Holy shnikes, we're up by six. six. It, exactly, the fielding. The like, seriously. Ball games. I have, have never seen to just relax it go one-sided. Back -back. Hey, on Should have been able to, to make right a, here, they a dive for it. From their dugout, this guy is carrying himself with exactly. a out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Like, I have... Swing and a miss as he picks up yet so far, almost a handful of one gone in the what should have been a potential right no-hitter, but Some guys are real good something like that hitters, happens. More often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success it's just bad. on the mound. The batter will be Taylor Trammell. Dribbled to the right side. Oh, one 
The other thing I don't like is the fact the game has changed up the way I throw a pitch. Because last game it was weird on a hill leg. Now it's like up close. I don't know why it's changing camera angles. And now Sam Haggerty. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Curveball, swing and a miss, and he's behind right. in the count 0-2. Getting closer. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing. So stepping in is... Well, Dylan we're doing Thomas. good with the batting so far. Bat for the one in the ball game. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Swung on and missed that strike two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Got him to miss the breaking now, ball there. Dylan Thomas is dealt with for the first out at the bottom of the inning. Come on, baby. Just strike. Second time here as he swings and misses. Oh. Nothing in one. Throw gets him. Two down. That's okay. So here's the cleanup hitter, Evan White, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And that misses ball 1. Got it right there. Swung on and missed. 1 and 1. one, one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike 2. And just and like that, we got him. him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So here's Michael Chavis now. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look Kinda to keep him down low, low out of that zone, so oh, that way he doesn't no get a good potential You can tell in between innings, the veterans in that dugout going up and getting super frustrated. They just have to find a way to piece it together. Maybe pass the baton, get some wheels in motion, maybe get aggressive on the base pass if they can get somebody on. Got him to go down swinging there. Michael Chavis is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Dylan Moore ah, in for the second time. I hoping that be in strike zone. Low, it's a ball and no strikes. A little late that time as he 11. swings and misses for strike one. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Uh, he's just rolling oh, right man. now. Even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Twelve strikeouts, Next fifth in inning so far. Not too bad. We're to past the halfway point. A change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. That's a Holy shit, right I didn't even know we have a 10-run lead. Your first move is to bail a little bit, kind of not want to get like, hit by damn. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Stepping in once again is Jake Fraley to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Matty, I'm telling the offense ah, to get aggressive. That been a Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. Struck him out. There we go. 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Taylor Trammell is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Swing and a liner. Oh. And a base hit into left field. That's okay. We already lost a no-hitter because of... Uh, so only the second hit the, given up because the second, second baseman tonight. forgot the, the layout. Didn't do any damage. Boy, that's so okay. sweating this one at all. They haven't been able to stream. All we gotta do together. is just get out of this inning here. Yeah. Yeah. Sam Haggerty. Oh, wow. As he'll go after yeah. the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Late oh, swing two. there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. And just like that, we get out of the inning. We got two more innings to go. They're probably going to pull us. 
bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in Ty France. Hey, this is where you go. Just watch. They pull us. We lose a 14 run lead in two innings, and that's it. down a lot, but you have to have one quality at bat followed by another quality at bat. Don't give any outs away. No ABs go unnoticed right here. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Evan White. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. No ball. What a great curveball there. Really fooled him with that one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Well, he got the Come leadoff on. guy in inning That's on a ground out. Now he's 0 and 2 to start this at bat. He looks he's really sharp it. so far to start Oh, this barely. And off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And definitely worth a better look at the show track data. Great reaction from the hot corner to make the backhand stop, and then he unleashes that very strong throw while in the air all the way well, across the out. diamond. He's going to be That's smiling about that one. Michael oh, that was a strike zone. So. Come on, man. Time now as he takes a look at a ball, it's 1-0. Oh. Oh. Just you missing what? here, 2-0. Yeah. Oh. oh, you blind? 3-0 oh. oh now. Oh, you got to be kidding me. With the bases empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. Oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. To first. One, one. He's right there. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Well, but I think they're going to pull our guy. I highly doubt he'll be in. Now to back, Dylan Moore. Oh, damn. Uh, we're in. Two tries so far. Uh, inning. We're going to do it. First pitch on its way. Oh, come on. That's in the zone. This umpire is blind. Swung on and missed, strike one. We're playing 11. One ball, one strike. Uh -huh. It's one and two. Now that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. First pitch of the A.B. Now on its it. way. The Brian O'Keefe is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Getting closer. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way right. too many we pitches We just need to get one zone. more batter out. So it was a swinging a strike three. Inning. Brian O'Keefe becomes out number two this inning. Jake Fraley is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. He dropped that curveball in for a strike right there. But don't kill no, yourself. More. That's a dangerous pitch. He needs to start thinking about maybe working that. There we go. And I think now. we're going to be pulled. In order. I can't guarantee it will pitch full Starting nine innings. In oh, my Brown. goodness. They're going to actually let us finish the game out. Probable odds of trying to come Look back at this. In this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats right. still count. All right, we got nine stats, innings. Can't mill in your chances Woo. as a professional. And he takes strike two. And this will be fouled away. Strike three. 19 Two more innings. strikeouts for him now. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength now of his game, which is his ball. speed. But with the strikeout oh, right there, oh, can't get you were just blind, man. I got to get you for description lenses. As he looks at a ball, it's 1-0. Hey, be on the lookout right here. Usually when a pitcher drops in a curveball for a strike looking, now he'll try and throw it in the yeah, Again, you stare and look we'll at... see where he goes here. And he's oh, what? The way up the I thought he was out! With a two oh, he got lucky. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play, oh, man. every base and is going to double will really, really help me. wake everyone up. Whatever. Well, that wasn't Do exactly we... a nail-biter. But it's always yep. nice. We had a no. Uh, we had a shutout. So thank goodness. But hey, it didn't do so bad. He only gave up a few hits. Only gave up three hits. That's not bad. Three hits out of like twenty some batters.
So our player has boosted up. He's at currently in eight. I mean a 74. Uh, let's take a look at. I'm trying to see where's the stats. The game is taking quite a bit to load. Oh, here we go. Stats, player statistics. So pitcher wise, we just recently came into the league. Only played four games in. And look at that. We have 102 strikeouts in four games. Whereas this pitcher here has played a total of 15 games with 92. And this pitcher here has pitched 16 games. 16 games and 107. We're going to have more strikeouts at the end of the year before any of these guys do. We're considered a starting pitcher. We're dominating. We are kicking ass. Like, look at that ERA. They're nowhere near us. Games played, we've only played six games, and we're making them look... We're making them look bad. Quality starts. We have complete game. One complete game. One shutout. We've only get up 13 hits so far. That's not bad. Runs allowed. We only gave up two runs. Which were both home runs, I believe. No wild pitches. No hit by pitches yet. Total bat batters faced. Almost a good number. But yeah, we have dominated so far. Kind of curious where our guy's going to sit at. Yeah. It, it's not going to be long before our guy either gets traded or uh, he asks to get traded. We're dominating. It's looking so far pretty good. Also need to take a look at what our calendar kind of looks like. Because the season's almost there. I think we, yeah. We have basically about a month remains. So the season is almost over for us. We're not going to be in a playoff pitcher. I highly doubt it. The way our team has been. So take a look at the standings. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be in the playoffs, to be honest. We're AL wild card, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah, we're... We're nowhere even remotely close to getting into the wild card position. So even if we wanted to, it's just not going to happen. But the next time we pick up with MLB The Show 21, our boy Curveball Joe. We're going to see if we can get more wins for him. Uh, he did get finally called up to the big league today. Big milestone, second game appearance. He ended up getting a no-hitter. And we have so far now a total of four wins. I think there's probably about maybe three more games for us in in the season. I'm not entirely sure. But we're going to try to continue on next time. I'm not your average gaming Joe. And I want to say thank you for watching. Have a good one, everybody. Take care.